Akita Chow The Akita Chow is a mixed breed dog a cross between the Akita and Chow Chow dog breeds. Large, independent, and loyal, these pups inherited some of the best traits from both of their parents. The Akita Chow can also be called Chiquita. Despite their unfortunate status as a designer breed, you may find these mixed breed pups in shelters and breed specific rescues, so remember to adopt. Don't shop. Akita Chows are quiet, and while they may not be overly affectionate, they are incredibly protective and loyal. Expert dog parents recommended. You will have your work cut out for you with training, as they're known for being willful and can even be obstinate. The Akita Chow would make a great addition for an active family with older children or in a single-person home, so long as they get plenty of exercise and will not be left alone for long periods. They wouldn't be suitable for an apartment but would love a house with a yard so they have plenty of room to stretch their legs. You'll also need to invest a fair amount of time into their training. Akita Chows would make great walking, running, or hiking companions. This is a highly intelligent dog. Keep them stimulated and keep them content. Dog Time recommends this big, spacious crate to give your big Akita Chow a place to rest and relax. You should also pick up this dog to shedder for your high shedding pup. See below for all Akita Chow facts and mixed dog breed characteristics. More about this breed highlights the Akita Chow is a mixed breed dog. They are not purebreds like their Akita or Chow Chow parents. The main colors of Akita Chows are silver, fawn, red, brown, black, and white. Sometimes their coats are solid, and sometimes they have a mix of two colors. While this dog is not a top choice for allergy sufferers, their coat is easy to groom and may only require a brushing three to four times a week. The Akita Chow's energy levels may vary, but this dog will need a rigorous exercise schedule. 60 minutes of walking a day is a good starting point. When raised with children, Akita Chows can do well with them, but they're not known to be playful dogs and may not put up with rough and tumble play from a young child. The Akita Chow would most likely prefer to be an only pet so they can dominate their human parents' attention. Akita Chows are often described as intelligent and independent thinkers, which means you'll have your hands full with training. When well trained and socialized, you could not ask for a better, more obedient dog. These dogs do not do well when they're left alone for long periods of time. They may get anxious and engage in destructive or unwanted behavior. History It is not known exactly where the Akita Chow originated, and at this point, no one is taking credit for them. There is a good chance that someone began mixing Akitas with Chows in the 1990s in Northern America when, many groups of people were creating new designer breed dogs. It's also possible that this mixed breed has existed naturally over the years. This mix's parent breeds, however, have longer and more documented histories. For example, the Akita dog is a working dog breed that originated in the mountains of northern Japan. They previously worked as fighting and hunting dogs, though their current duties include police and guard work. The mix's other parent, the Chow Chow, is one of the oldest living breeds, having originated from Mongolia and northern China roughly 2,000 years ago and, Depending who you ask, the breed may even be even 3,000 years old and hail from Arctic Asia. The Akita Chow is currently recognized by Dog Registry of America draw. Size Because the Akita Chow is a relatively new mixed breed, there are minimal size criteria. As a cross between the Akita and the Chow Chow, Akita Chows are expected to be huge dogs. The majority of them weigh between 88 and 145 pounds and stand between 23 and 25 inches tall at the shoulder. Many, on the other hand, may be smaller or larger than usual. Males have a greater stature than females. Personality When it comes to this mix's parent breeds, Akitas can be willful and cautious of strangers while Chow Chows are often described as aloof toward people they don't know. This parental genetic combination makes Akita Chows a perfect guard dogs and companions. Akita Chows are often described as intelligent and independent thinkers, which means you'll have your hands full with training. When well trained and socialized, you could not ask for a better, more obedient dog. Don't expect kisses and cuddles. While not big on typical dog-like displays of affection, Akita Chows are possessive of their human, which also means they are loyal to a fault. Just make sure they do not establish dominance over you, which they may push the boundaries on. Like most dogs, the Akita Chow needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences, when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Akita Chow puppy grows up to be a well-rounded Akita Chow dog.
healthy Akita Chow breed is prone to some of the same health issues as the Akita and Chow. While most are typically healthy, some may be prone to a few health problems, which is why proper care and regular veterinary visits are essential. The following are some of the most prevalent issues that Akita Chows face. Hip dysplasia and tropion progressive retinal atrophy. Care as with all dogs, you should keep up with your Akita Chow's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your dog healthy. Check their ears for debris and pests daily and clean them as recommended by your vet. Trim your dog's nails before they get too long usually once or twice per month. They should not be clicking against the floor. Your groomer can help with this. One tough job when caring for any animal will be maintaining their oral health. You should brush their teeth daily, as many dogs are prone to dental issues. Your vet can instruct you on how to brush your dog's teeth properly. Since the Akita is more active than a Chow Chow, your Akita Chow mix's energy levels may vary. Make no mistake though, this dog will need a rigorous exercise schedule for overall health and well-being. 60 minutes of walking a day is a good starting point. If you find your dog dragging their bottom or, scooting, they may need their anal glands expressed. You can do this yourself or let your vet or groomer handle it. It's one stinky job that may be better left to professionals. Feeding an Akita Chow diet should be formulated for a large-sized breed with high energy and exercise needs. Look for a high-quality dog food for optimum nourishment. As with most dogs it's best to stick to a feeding schedule and not leave food out during the day. Twice a day feedings may be ideal. As with all dogs, the Akita Chow's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change into their senior years. You should ask your veterinarian for recommendations about your Akita Chow's diet, as there is far too much variation among individual dogs including weight, energy, and health to make a specific recommendation. Grooming and color of the coat The coats and colors of Akita Chows are frequently a mix of their Akita and Chow Chow parents' coats and hues. Silver, fawn, red, brown, black, and white are the most common Akita Chow colors. Their coats are sometimes solid colors, and other times they are a combination of two colors. The Akita Chow has a double coat that is long, thick, and straight, and it sheds a lot. While this dog is not recommended for allergy sufferers, its coat is easy to maintain and only requires brushing three to four times each week. In terms of extreme weather, the Akita Chow is not a good fit for a hot climate. In the winter, their double coat would keep them warm. It's vital to remember that this is an indoor dog who must be kept inside. Children and other pets when raised with children, Akita Chows can do well with them, but they're not known to be playful dogs and may not put up with rough and tumble play from a young child. Akita Chows do best in families with older kids who understand how to interact with a dog. As with any dog, always teach children how to approach and touch your dog, and supervise all interactions between dogs and young children to prevent any mishandling from either party. Akitas are best kept as a solo pet while Chow Chows can get along with other dogs if they're raised with them from an early age. It's best to err on the side of caution with the Akita Chow mixed breed and not plan on getting them any fur siblings. They would most likely prefer to be an only pet so they can dominate their human parents' attention. Find out if this is the right dog for you by learning about their Akita and Chow Chow parents. Rescue organizations Because Akita Chows are a mixed breed, it may be difficult to identify a breed-specific rescue. However, you might want to look into Akita or Chow Chow breed-specific rescues, as they frequently take in mixed breed dogs. Here are some possible rescues. Chow Chow Rescue of Central New York, Inc. Big East Akita Rescue, BEAR. You may also search for adoptable dogs by breed and zip code on Dogtime's adoption website.